Hi again, everybody. My name is Greg Anderson, and this is the Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. And this is the Geochron, specifically the Geochron Atlas 4K, one of my favorite devices. In fact, if you were to ask me and kind of try to pin me down on, Greg, what's your favorite clock? You got a lot of clocks and watches. Which, which one is your favorite? And I'm reluctant to answer that question because it makes it sound like I have less of an appreciation for some of the other devices, and I could live without those. And then the fact is, I, I like all the ones that I have. I'm glad I have them. I wouldn't really want to get rid of any of them. But uh, I think I think the Geochron probably is my favorite because it does just a few things that the other clocks and watches I have don't do. I, I like what the other ones do, but this is just so unique. And so I, I first got interested in the Geochron when the only thing available was a mechanical Geochron device. When I knew about the 4K digital device that I could hook up to any monitor I wanted to, um, I, I just, I knew I had to have that. So I've had this one for about two years now, almost exactly two years in the year 2020 is when I got this one. And uh, they've done some upgrades to the software since I got it, and they're all great. And I'm so pleased with it. And I wanted to tell you specifically about the profiles option that is available now. And, you know, it's just a free download. I just told it to, you know, check for new software and download it. And here it was. And I'll take a moment to explain why I think that is so special. But I, I just want to say <laughs> that the folks there at the Geochron company, uh, led by Patrick at Geochron, have, have just done a phenomenal job with this device. I couldn't be more pleased. Patrick uh, has a goal of going around and he <laughs> loves to go on uh, long rides on his motorcycle. He wants to visit a Geochron user in every state in the nation. And a few months ago, he came and paid a visit right here to my place uh, just to say hello and chat and uh, and just have some friendly fun and uh, see how I'm using the Geochron. And it was just, it was a wonderful day. One thing that um, I mentioned to him as uh, we were talking about the Geochron, uh, I said something about what what would be user profiles, uh, just one way to uh, change a whole lot of settings all at once. And the way he responded to that sounded like they had been, um, they'd already been discussing this idea uh, at the Geochron team. So I didn't feel like I was asking for anything <laughs> too, too far out there. It seemed like They'd already talked about it, and now they've implemented this. I'm not going to take credit for being, I'm the guy who gave them that idea. I really don't think I was. But uh, I, I tried to explain when he was here that, uh, you know, it's easy for me to say, hey, why don't you change the Geochron this way? And I have no idea how difficult it would be to make those changes. So I wanted to make it clear that if you can't do something that I suggest... I'm fine with that. You know, just I'm I'm a totally satisfied customer and I have been a totally satisfied Geochron owner for 2 years now, but every time they do some sort of an upgrade that just downloads to the device, it it's just been that much better. And this one once again they've topped themselves and I couldn't be more pleased. So I want to tell you about what they did to make this Geochron even more fun for me and for my family. All right, so here's my Geochron. The thing I love about it, it shows a whole map of the world and you see the Terminator lines there uh, to the left and right showing where it's dark right now, uh, nighttime on the uh, edges of this map. And in the middle of the map, it's the middle of the day, daylight, uh, and all those places around the world. And the curvature of that line between uh, light and dark changes throughout the year to correspond to the actual changes as the Earth rotates on its axis and the seasons change throughout the world. Now, if I push some buttons here to get into the menus on this Geochron, there are a lot of things I can do to customize the view that I'm looking at here. Here I've got the different maps I can choose, the topographical view. Here's one called Human, which looks more like uh, some of the more traditional maps, Oceanic, a ham radio map, and so I've got, I've got a bunch of options there. Go back up here to the top uh, tabs here, and I can change the opacity of the night layer. I can also bring up some other custom uh, items here, different layers that are all rendered out in 4K. Here's my custom pins I can show. 
um, and, and up to 50 little pins that would appear on the map to show me the local time uh, in different places all over the world. So I've got you know some friends or some places where I have friends that are showing on the map. Uh, live view, which shows me, you know, you can have different uh, layers with weather, um, commercial airline uh, tracking, all, a bunch of stuff like that on there. And then there's, there's some premium layers here. It's worth mentioning that you can uh, track earthquake activity. You've got some ham radio stuff that you can incorporate into your uh, Geocron if you're a ham radio operator. Also some premium atmospheric stuff here. And uh, these would require subscriptions, sometimes annual or monthly subscriptions, to get the data that goes onto your Geocron. And this is understandable to me. I don't want to complain about this at all because... Uh, They've done a great job of including a whole bunch of data you can display on your Geocron, but there are some things that just, it you know, it costs them. They don't get some of this data for free, so therefore they pass that on to you. If you want to subscribe, you can get these premium layers. If you, if you don't want to subscribe, you know, you can do without these, and you still have a lot of great stuff that you can display on your Geocron. So those are some of the things you can customize on your Geocron so that you can see all that, all that stuff just the way you want it on your Geocron display, right? But uh, if you go over here now, this is the new thing under the General tab, and you uh, take it down here down on the screen to the bottom here, it's got configuration profiles. Okay, and so if I click on there, then it brings up a list of profiles that I've created. So there's some that are named after members of my family. There's also the default one, and you can just quickly select a different profile, and uh, all of a sudden, everything on the map conforms to the settings you have for that profile. So if I go back here to uh, the main display, this is a configuration I've created that uh, has very few layers on it. I don't have any custom pins in this layer. I have a little bit of the uh, human lights in the nighttime parts of this map. And um, yeah, just it's kind of a no frills Geochron display. And I've named this no pins, but this is kind of my default. If I want to show the Geochron and have it as simple as possible, um, that's one way to quickly uh, you know, change all of that. But if I go in here and pull up one of the layers that uh, one of my daughters created and uh, see what she put on her configuration profile, well, look at this. She decided to go with the monochrome map and some custom pins with different colors. And she's also brought in a somewhat subtle uh, layer here that shows you know, some of the atmospheric conditions. And she's also brought up some of the little um, icons that show where other Geochron users are scattered throughout the world. For example, over there in lots of parts of Western Europe, you've got a bunch of Geochron users. And also look, oh, there are some uh, airline, there's some airline tracking going on in my daughter's configuration profile. And all of those things set up just in an instant when I change to that profile. But if I want to quickly go and change it to another profile, like maybe my preferences, again, just go down here, select that, and boom, within a few seconds, it redraws all the layers and starts showing the things that I want on my preferred configuration. So th this to me, this, this is a, a really, really important update to this Geochron. Uh, the thing, one thing I really like about the Geochron, this digital device, is that my daughter can get into her profile and she can change anything she wants. In fact, before we had the profiles, I didn't mind if she decided one day, you know, just, just to sit down, pick up the Geochron remote and start changing a whole bunch of things to try different colors and different layers and different maps. I, it didn't bother me if she wanted to do that, because the Geochron is a pretty well self-contained device. It, when you boot it up, it just goes to the Geochron. Uh, I, I suppose some people, if you wanted to, you could probably hack into it and make it do other strange things. But I like the fact that the way it's configured, it just is the Geochron. And so there's, there's really nothing I've found you can do to it that would mess it up. As long as uh, you're not playing with the power, I guess, you know, and doing all kinds of strange things about, uh, you know, unplugging it when instead of doing a proper shutdown. I, I haven't bothered with that. But if you just plug it in, turn it on, change anything you want in it, and you're not going to hurt 
the Geocron. So uh, my philosophy with the kids is if I show them how to use a gadget or any kind of electronic device, if I show them the right way to use it, I'm pretty confident that I can trust them to just use it. And I don't have to micromanage the way they use it if I've shown them the right way to do it. And so that's kind of my approach with my daughter is she could do anything she wanted to the Geocron and it didn't bother me. Though sometimes, you know, maybe she changed a few things on the display and I would want to go back in later on and start pulling up menus and start changing the map to something else I wanted or change the pins or do, you know, whatever I wanted to do with it. I would kind of come up with my idea and then maybe later she would put her idea into it and we'd kind of go back and forth, not, not really getting on each, on each other's nerves. In fact, it was kind of fun sometimes. I'd come home from work, the Geocron is configured differently and I'd kind of go, oh, well, she wanted to do that. And then I change it and then, you know, she comes home from school and she's like, oh, look, dad wanted to do it that way. You know, it was fine. But with this now that I can give her her own configuration and she can do whatever she wants with it. And then I can go back to mine and just whatever I want with it. And we're not getting in each other's way. Oh, I got to tell you, this is great. And of course, uh, now my other kids, when they saw that uh, the one daughter had her own configuration profile, they thought, well, can I have one too? So I'm sure. So I started setting up configuration profiles for each member of the family. And that's kind of fun because each one of them feels like they own their own Geocron. And well, that, that's kind of fun too. And also, um, if you want to, down here at the bottom of the list of the configuration profiles, there's this option here that you can uh, activate. You can have profile rotation. So right now it's off, but if I wanted it to, let's say, let's go down here and I'll select this. Every five minutes it changes to another configuration profile or every 10 minutes, 15, 20, all the way up to uh, 30 minutes. And then I can go back up here and I can select which of these configuration profiles would be added to the rotation. So activate or deactivate any of those. So if I say, well, you know, I've got, well, I've got five of them, but I only want three of them to be in the rotation, then yeah, I can, I can very easily um, configure that. And that's, I think whoever thought this through there at Geocron, if they had meetings with, you know, a whole bunch of people working together on this, I'm, I'm just, I'm really pleased that they really did think this through really well. So not only do they have a great uh, ability to set up configuration profiles, but they've thought of great ways to use those different configuration profiles, including the ability to choose which ones you want to rotate uh, through uh, I think it's just wonderful what they've done with this. Now you can create up to 10 configuration profiles and then you can kind of rotate through those. And of course you can easily delete a configuration profile and create a different one or just keep customizing the ones you've already created. Um, Wow, to me, the, the Geocron digital device just keeps getting better and better. Again, this is the one I got two years ago, still working great and just getting better and better. And, um, you know, I, I think I still will get another one. There's now an Atlas II version of this uh, Geocron device, uh, which just, you know, just like anything electronic like this and computerized like this, um, every year the hardware is going to get just a little bit better and uh, more capable of doing what it needs to do. So even though there's nothing wrong with this one I have, um, I'm excited to get another Geocron here in the next little while that I can keep in another part of the house or in my office or whatever. So, you know, we have multiple Geocron displays out there all around. Um, again, a powerful little computer this is. It's rendering all of this stuff in 4K in real time, multiple layers, and that does require some, um, you know, some pretty good computing power. So that's why the Geocron costs what it costs. And uh, that's why it's a very specific device to do very specifically what it does. And it's not just an app on your iPad. It really, in order to get the 4K experience, uh, it needs this little device. And it'll cost you a few hundred dollars. But for me, absolutely zero regrets about buying this. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm nothing but thrilled and willing to pay all that money all over again for a second one because it is so wonderful. So that's on my wish list uh, to get another Geocron uh, digital device. And, and I hope you enjoy the configuration profile demonstration here and some of the other stuff I've shown off about the Geocron Atlas. Now you can get the Atlas II 4K device 
Just go to geocron.com. Tell them I sent you. Oh, nah, don't, don't bother telling them I sent you. <laughs> they don't need to know that. Just enjoy your Geocron. And uh, that's all for now. So I will, uh, I'll keep playing with this Geocron every now and then. I'll, have, I'll give you some updates on just how wonderful it remains. And I hope you'll join me for more episodes right here on The Good Timekeeping Show.